to be chosen, you have to choose yourself first every day. You know, it was interesting when I was talking to the students this morning, I said, ask questions. You have opportunities every day of your life to stand up and declare who you are. Put yourself out there. I'm going to tell you something. If you do nothing, if you sit home, if you don't raise your hand, if you don't even brag a little bit about who you are, I guarantee you nothing's going to happen in your life. If you stand up, if you raise your hand, if you show up, 50-50, maybe something happens, maybe something doesn't. But at least you have the possibility. So I want to ask you, how often do you choose yourself? Like those of you that stood up this morning, do, are you one of those people that, that, you know, I talk to so many people and I say, what do you want to do with your life? And they're like, you know, I like to cook. I go, well, are you a chef or do you like to cook? Because if you don't tell me you're a chef, I can't cast you in master chef. You don't know sometimes when you go through life, people ask you questions and you don't know what their agenda is. Maybe they're the person that's going to put you on the teen version of 60 Minutes. And if you just say, oh, I like to write instead of I'm a writer, they think, ah, she's not ready. So I want to ask you to think about that. To be chosen, you have to choose yourself first.